In my new book, The Top 10 Ways to Be a Great Leader, I talk about the 10 essential skills every new leader must master. So here's the question. How can young leaders work on practicing these principles? Well, first of all, let me say I'm a very practical writer. I put the cookies on the lower shelf, and I'm not just about philosophical ideas about leadership. My chapters are chock full of real life illustrations of how these principles work in real life. So read the chapter. Uh, at the end of every chapter, I have discussion questions. You know what would be great is get a group of people at work and have a lunch uh, study group where you read a chapter and go through the discussion questions. That would be a great way to implement these principles. Here's something else. Would you be willing to get some feedback? The E in leadership stands for emotional intelligence. A lot of us have blind spots, and the only way we're going to ever see those blind spots is through the eyes of others on our team. If you're willing to be vulnerable and allow people to help you um, understand how you're coming across in your leadership as you go through these steps and these five, these ten essential skills, I think you'll you'll really learn and progress and grow. And let me say one more thing. You might want to ask people in each of these 10 areas as you're going through them, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate me on emotional intelligence, servant leadership, humility, you know, listening skills, whatever it is. Those are some practical ways that you can take this information, especially you as a young leader, and really work it out in your life. Thank you so much for reading this book. I appreciate it, and I think you will be greatly helped.